Hello again, and now we have finished the structural and the MAB. Now it's time for doing the activities for the architectural. And we are going to link it with the structural and the MAP as well. So we are going to use another example instead of using one by one, we are going to copy. You, uh, press first activity, then shift, and copy all of these activities. Right click copy or control C. And we are going to paste it here. Only between copy, shall we remove the, act, the relationships, the old relationships or no? In Chat's case, yeah, we would say, yeah, most probably we just need to change. But here, we don't want to increase by 10. We don't need this because this is MEV. So we are going to replace the beginning characters. But how many characters are they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 characters. So there are six characters to be replaced, and it will be replaced by GR-ARC. And we will press OK. Now here it is, but same numbers for stories here. Then GR-ARC as you can. Now we have to just to change the names as well. And here we copied with the same exact relationship as you see because we untacked. So now we can name the architectural activities, whatever we do, but let's use the template that we have to give us an idea and also have a look at the drawings. So if we're going to look at the template, if you're going to look at the template, the template here is showing finishing an MEV. Let's just show the finishing works or the architectural works. Let's group them. We are going to group these activities and to show this only, we're going to group all the MEV first and second fix. Group. And you are going to group these inside walls means the vertical, just in order if you are confusing or anything. And we are going to group all of these once. So yeah. Now we we'll decrease this one we'll decrease this one and as you see we would have this too so wall lining to block work it's usually for gypsum boards or anything else and stud partition as well as most probably gypsum boards and second fix and this one comes after the adding the embedments of the MEB block work screed with areas water proofing these mostly are called the messy activities that you should do it anytime and you cannot start to work without it and these are the final finishing activities, carpet, finale, snagging, planning, fixed furniture and equipment. But first let's see the drawing and to see what do we have. In the drawing here, the interior finishing schedule, it's PT, 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 it's the PT action. So all we have is ceramic tiles, porcelain tiles, we have gypsum board as a ceiling and acoustical ceiling tile. But also to zoom in the walls, it's only block work. And most probably there is no gypsum board that's covering this block work. So it's block work and adding porcelain tiles. Or in our case, it's adding only uh, paint. There is no porcelain tiles. There's only ceramic tiles in the toilet. So here the finishing of the walls would be ceramic tiles. And everywhere else it's paint without even gypsum board. So all what we need from these messy activities is the block work, which we have to do. And it's not shown, uh, most probably it's not screed because it's porcelain and porcelain doesn't want screed. So we can say only, and we already have slab and grade, so most probably it's done right. So we would use only the porcelain tiles and the ceramic tiles and the block work. So let's scroll back to our activities. So we will make this block works. By the way, this structural MEB architecture, it's just an idea. At the end, I'll show you another schedule that is kind of different, but the, this schedule is more and more complex. So that's why it's different. But this is different that we are going to make the schedule according to discipline. You can do it whatever you would like or whatever 
the company policy or whatever you see relevant to your project and no project is equal to same you are going to use these as templates only but you are going to change for them for sure so the first one we make it the block works the block works according to add the duration it's not that much we are going to add just durations we're going without even saying labels and everything and the method that we are using here is we are just adding duration and later on determining for this duration how many manpower do we want. So, but let's take the block work first. The block work first, let's give it five days. It's not very high as well. So let's give it, okay, it's four over five, okay. Let's give it six days. So we'll go back here. We'll give it six days, a whole week. And here what we have is Perceline tiles. We're just writing the activities for flooring. And we have Perceline tiles. And we have ceramic tiles for flooring. We can copy the name. And we are going to choose it only. But we are going to change this one to ceramic tiles. And change this one to ceramic tiles. But for walls, and we have to add a new activity stating the event. Ceramic tiles for walls. We can keep the F capital to make everything clear. And the F capital as well to make everything clear. Then we are going to add, we can add one activity or it could be two activities, paint first coat and then paint final coat. We could make it two activities, add and add another one. So it would be paint first coat and it would be a paint second coat as well so here just to correct this one delete and that's it so how we are going to sequence let's give some durations first personal ties will mm, the area is not that big but if you want to calculate the area here Let's try to calculate it roughly if you don't have it. It it seems small, but it seems as well that all are porcelain tiles. Here porcelain tiles, porcelain tiles, only that's ceramic. So we'll make it very rough. We will take an order BL, which is stands for polyline. And we would draw roughly just to get how many how many square meters do we have for the Brussels tile? You don't have to be exact, but it's small room, so we could do something which is most probably gonna be fine. So here it is. Now C for close. Now this one represents the Brussels tiles area function and we are going to use okay we, will, we might use li first li it will give you the area which is in our case for three four we remove this 43 meters square so this one would be how much it's 2.1 multiplied by three so this one is six meter square the toilet so we have 43 meter square we are going to give this one we give it 2 12 and we are going for the ceramic tiles we give it uh, minimum we'll give it three days and the four walls another three days and for paint we would give it uh, stick sometimes so we'll take it another 12 days then another eight days but something is missing here so we're going to add another activities which is the wet 
areas waterproofing which is the toilet here what which is considered as one of the messy activities as well so wet areas waterproofing okay wet areas waterproofing and making the tests and everything it would take uh we'll give it four days uh, make it five days so we'd give this five days so when can we start the block work and when can we start the porcelain and when can we start the rest but first let's remove all of these relationship because we took it by mistake we don't need it it might confuse us so let's remove each and everything and be clear to work and we'll see how it will works and here another two would remove remove do not use this delete one because this one will delete activity i always do this mistake by the way so we should always be careful about not using the delete it seems tempting that you want to use this one but remember to use the remove here and these are new so we are done just run to make sure that they all are aligned at the data line so yeah here is it so we are fine so the block work we can start the block work directly after installing the steel beams we could remove some areas and just because it's an outer block works so we could use it we could do it but it's better to stay for the 14 days mentioned so we are going to select and install steel beams and the block works and link them together so we might mention here 12 days for example to stay and then start our block works make it 14 days it's small area we're going to start so we are going to start MAB first and the second fix. Keep this now. Let's relate the architecture with the structural. Then we relate the architecture with the MAB to avoid any confusion. The porcelain tiles for flooring. So when can you do this? First of all, you should do it in order to do this for sure. It should, you should have everything clear for porcelain tiles. You should sure have the block works. But what else? Is there any other relationship with the structure? If you related the block works and use the block works as a hub activity by meaning an activity which transfers, which has a lot of predecessor and successors, but here which transfers from one stage to another by meaning transferring from the structure stage to architecture stage, and, and this one will be the predecessor by a way or an another for these items, then you don't have to make any relation with the other activities otherwise the block works so again the ceramic tiles link activities and for sure for walls link activities and for sure for paint first coat we are going to link it and for sure paint first coat is linked with the paint second coat these are the, act the relationship that we already know and the width areas is also connected to the block works. You need to make waterproofing. You should have holes. Yeah, it's crystal clear. So now everything is related 